old. Yeah, you're very fucking old. As on, you know, fucking DAB radio in the car. Came on there, Fetty Wap. I thought it was a fucking. I thought it was a spelling mistake. Boys and girls, boys and girls. Treat, treat for you, eh? Bloody treat. Old franchise, back again. Who'd have thought? Who would have thought it? Couldn't uh, couldn't get a video out was for seven months and now you just can't stop. Start. I think I've got the bug again. I've got the video making bug again on my holiday because I, I work for like a factory in the northeast and they just shut down for two weeks. So you had uh, two weeks. I went away for one week to the beautiful Isle of Croatia, which was unbelievable by the way, and uh, perfect for franchise because they do fuck all. Everything moves in slow motion, which for me is the best speed you could possibly move at. If you're moving any quicker than slow motion, you might miss something. It was lived to like a hundred, a hundred. Granted, they all look a bit scruffy, but they lived to like a hundred without all these crazy pills that I try and buy off the internet. But hello. All the crazy pills I buy on the internet. Ah, forget about it. Bye. Lost my train of thought already. He's back. He's back. I haven't got a fucking clue what I'm talking about. What was I talking about? <sighs> Jesus, I am getting old. I fear that old franchise is in fact becoming old. And might have to stop referring to himself as old franchise at the age of 31. I thought you need to do something here, mind. You need to just get hold of this situation. Just grab it just inappropriately. Just grab hold of it, and if it tries to push off, slap it in the face. Just grab hold of that situation and just say no, no. But what better way to uh, make sure that you don't grow old than toy day? Who doesn't love a toy day? Who doesn't love a toy day? Toy day is a throwback for me. Like. When you used to go to school, just like get dropped off by your mum, and you just walk across the play yard. Oh yeah, I'm fucking cool. And there'd be a giant plane just painted on the yard. You'd be like, oh, all right, all right, I'm totally gonna play Indiana Jones on that thing later on. All right, all right. Where's my bitches at? Hmm, hmm. There she is. There she is. All right, all right. And then you get inside, and then you you get breakfast. They give you you get a bottle of milk for your breakfast. All right, gather around, children. Sit down on the mat. Take your bottle of milk and your straw. You know, some people couldn't always got the... Did I just drop a sea bomb? Or you always got the fucking bottle that the birds had been at. Because <laughs> you just get like crates of bottles of milk. And just like some guy who didn't really care. He was getting paid far less than he should have been for the job anyway. Just like fag hanging out of his mouth in a school. Fucking psh, just dropping crates of like little bottles of milk for the kids. And then they would just leave them there until somebody came out and got them. And every now and again, a bird would just come down, just like, I'm gonna bust into this. Bird would just bust in and drink your milk. And if you were slow off the mark, like if you'd gone on the mat and you didn't get up quick enough, because like your Velcro shoes would come undone, so you had to take all the time to like re tighten your Velcro shoe. And you got there last, you definitely got the milk with a bird spit in it. I mean, you still drank it because it was free milk, but. Yeah. Toy day, toy day, toy day, 31 year old, what could you possibly buy on toy day? Well, you'd buy this of course. Anybody read The Dark Knight Returns by Frank Miller? It's over there in that collection of books. Boosh! Boosh! Ah oh, yeah. Inspired by the now legendary designs of Frank Miller, this special Dark Knight Returns 4-pack features action figures of Batman, Robin, Superman and the Joker. The characters all but come to life. I'm loving the Joker in there actually, where he's with black and white pinstripe. Alright, Batman, you got fat. You got fat. He didn't get fat, he got like. like Hacksaw Jim Duggan. You know what I mean? Hacksaw Jim, you know, someone who used to be muscly. He used to be like fucking buff. And then got old, stopped working out, but never lost the mass. I can feel my finger just working away at the sides here. <laughs> Subconsciously, I want to fucking bust into this thing. Superman just looking buff. Buff as a motherfucker. Them lats, man. Them lats. 
Unbelievable. That hair's ridiculous, by the way. Come on down, come on down. Look at that ridiculous hair, Superman. Also on the back of the box, there's some sort of other sets available. <coughs> Curry Kelly there with a bit gigs. Got some fucking spectacles on her. Rocking a pair of specs. Curry Kelly. What? <laughs> bizarre reason, you get a straight light with it. So for the Joker, you can take two pistols, Batman gets his Batarang, Robin gets a catapult, Superman doesn't need fuck all because he's got ridiculous hair and lats to death. And you can have a street light, because nothing says superheroes fighting each other like a street light. Believe how fucking ridiculous Superman looks in that Superman Man of Steel set also available. He looks a bit fat, a bit Chinese, a bit like he's had work done. His hair looks like a fucking pig's penis. Uh, I'm in a turmoil. I'm in a turmoil. I want to open this so bad. So bad. So bad. I'm opening it. I'm not, I don't even care. I'm opening it. I'm opening it now, though. I'm not like it's not an unboxing. It's fucking Friday for crying out loud. I don't unbox on a Friday. Jesus. <coughs> How uh, how devastated is everybody, by the way, at the passing of fucking Rowdy Roddy Piper? Did not see that coming. Like, just little by little, slithers of my childhood are just being stripped away, just stole from us. Just, like, the, who was that wrestler man? He was, like, pretty popular. Drunk milk, took vitamins, ah. Uh, Something to do with pythons. Jack. He used to be off. Did he, did he even exist? Did he exist? I feel like he's just been wiped from from the face of the earth. I don't even know if he was real. But like, Dusty Rhodes died, and then Rowdy Hot Rod Rowdy Roddy Piper is the latest legend to pass away. Like, I thought that photo was indestructible. Like some of the stories, if you've read Ric Flair's book, some of the stories Ric Flair tells about Rowdy Roddy Piper in that book are unbelievable. And then like the guy beat cancer and then just fucking gone. Gone. Proper touching though. Did you watch UFC 189? Rousey fighting fucking Betch Korea? <sighs> Rousey by God. God I fucking overused joke already, like, but there's no way I'd last 34 seconds with that woman. <laughs> Forget about it. Like, really touching little moment at the end with Joe Rogan when she said, like, they'd lost the family friend and he'd give her permission to use the name Rowdy. Oh. What a role model she is, by the way, for, for young girls, just for girls, young and old. What a fucking role model. She's strong, powerful. Beautiful, fucking an absolute nerd, by the way. Have you seen her talk about Pokemon? Fuck, gave me a fucking. Ugh. It was like Operation U Tree. And then this, all my wrestling heroes dying, all my entertainment heroes from being a child. Turns out they're all fucking pedophiles, dirty pigs. And then all the, all the wrestling heroes are dying. It's like. Just a sad, sad time. Nobody tells you that. Nobody tells you that. Disney movies don't tell you that. They don't tell you that there's going to be a time in your life when things that were prominent in your childhood are either going to die or get caught touching kids. Actually, I had a point for this Friday. I came on to discuss with you my fucking familia plans. Plans for the future. Future plans. Fucking future plans. You know, those times I tell you about all those things I want to do in the future and I never do them. It's essentially another one of those times. Because I have a powerful mind. A genius, arguably. Arguably. But I am Master Procrastinator. If I was a villain, that would be me. The Master Procrastinator. 
Master proc procrastinate, Master Bitter. Until it sparked, until it's reignited the fires, start doing videos again, like I think I might have said at the beginning before I went off on a wild tangent. And then, Periscope, have you seen Periscope? Of course you've seen Periscope. It's that new Twitter thing where you essentially just live off your phone. Or like, I don't know if you can do it on a desktop, if you've got like a Mac or something or a built-in camera or like when all the fucking laptops are available I suppose. But you've got like cameras built in. So you sort of just like live stream yourself. Instead of live streaming a game or, or something like that, which is m massively popular with Twitch and the likes. You live stream yourself. And it's in its infancy right now. Perfect, perfect opportunity for somebody to fucking swoop in and just take it to the next level, use it to its full advantage, because right now all it is is videos of people fucking walking the dog. That's it. Why do I need to watch you walk your dog? Why do we? But we do it, because humans are just naturally dirty little perverse voyeurs. It's the chimp body, it's the whole chimp thing, because we're just not, there's just some part of us that's still a chimp, <laughs> that just wants to watch people walk dogs or fucking drive I watched somebody drive for seven minutes the other day didn't even see anything they were just driving I was just watching somebody driving looking back I might as well have been sitting on the bonnet so can I flick that indicator there there he there goes ah oh, great indication brilliant booked right here's the idea and I'm gonna see it now because I want you people to know that I had the idea first and I put it out there so when I procrastinate and don't do it and somebody else comes along and does it and makes fucking millions from it you'll be able to throw up a hello the laptop's booting up everywhere you'll be able to throw up at me face and that idea is the very first live weekly show via Periscope or Scope as the cool kids calling it Fuck it, Scope Alright, we'll check out the Scope mm, Fucking Scope It's not that fun Oh cool, really. No, but like, imagine if I did Friday Alive. I put this out on Twitter last week, Friday Alive, because I didn't do a Friday last week. I was going to do a Friday Alive, sitting here from, well, from that computer, because it's got like the built-in camera, I was going to do Friday Alive from the same place I do Friday from, but it would be live. And I'll just essentially just do this, but it would be live. Arguably not as funny, because I couldn't edit, like, the pauses out, or the mistakes, or like, the sexism or casual racism that sometimes slips in there. Yikes. Can you imagine though, Franchise Live? Because the podcast idea, when I was going to pull the rest of the Green Box Mafia and do the podcast, there could be co-hosts on Franchise Live, eventually. Because I've already, I'd, I'd dream big. I'd dream big, that's what I do. I just fucking, give us five minutes, I'll dream big. Starts off here, Friday Live, in the Fortress of Solitude, obviously spelled with a PH. You know. You know. Then, as the viewers tick on, get like a rented space. Like I, I've got a space in mind. I've already got a space in mind. And broadcast from there on Periscope. Do a franchise live. Get an audience in. And then before you know it, you've changed television as we know it. Live television shows that like are on the telly. Where you've got to watch your P's and Q's. And there's some things that you can't do and can't see. Fuck it. It's the new age. It's a new age of media. And all franchise could be the fucking spearhead. I say all franchise, I'd have the other guys with us. Arguably I'm funnier when I'm with them. We sort of bounce off each other. We're such a cool bunch of guys. So that was my idea. So just remember when I don't do it and somebody else does it and changes the game and changes modern media as we know it, just remember to remind me of. You fucking dick franchise. While I'm slugging away. Just in the rat race. Caught in the rat race. Just with... The ninety nine percent caught in there because I didn't fucking follow it through because I was too busy watching somebody drive on Periscope. That's the problem. That's the problem. Boys and girls, I've rambled on enough, and these things are just fucking dying to be ripped out of this packaging and touched, played with, it. played with. Next time. Let us.